Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, welcome back to Youth Hour again. We are talking to inspirational youth and um, our topic is, you know, just lie exactly what they are actually, fantastic. Izzy, welcome back again. Thank you. And I will miss you in the other one. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were putting a lot of legs of Hamidul actually and he showed his, you know, wow, toughness. Was it? Was it? He's cool. Been in spot. Mm. He's Expression. It's cool. He's well. Yeah, he looks like a gangster, <laughs> especially in that movie. Um, Izzy, welcome back. And um, we were talking about a lot of things. I don't know if you missed it. Um, I was actually going through your Facebook mm. myself, and um, thought of you know things you do is you know inspires me. Mm. And you're an actress, and um, I'm glad you're working with um, Hamidul and yourself. You know, it shows the uh, beauty of uh, uh, different colors coming together mm -hmm. and different community coming together. Yeah. Yeah. It's so important for everyone, actually. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, in, in London, we, we're proud of multiculturalism. Mm. Mm. And yeah. that proves, that shows it, you know. And um, especially time of every day we're in the f you know, front page of the paper, the extremists and terrorists, mm. you know. Some people are doing these things, mm. but we all seem to take uh, all of us are in that line, but yeah. that's not the case. You know, yeah. Islam is a way of life. It's really peaceful. Yeah. It's lovely. You know, it's amazing. Yeah. But some people are doing those things. Yes, those are criminals. Yeah. Um, they shouldn't be linked with Islam. They're, this is something they're doing. Yeah. Let it be. And I was, you know, seeing um, you had a, a party, uh, Father's Day. You, <laughs> <laughs> it amazed me. You know, it's fantastic. Would you like to? Um yeah. So um, uh, my brother, sister, and I all live in different parts of the country. So it's always really nice when we all come together. Um, so yeah, we all travelled back home for Father's Day. My dad had been away. Uh, so we wanted to surprise him a little bit. Uh, so um, when he arrived, we told him there was a surprise for him in the garden, got him to close his eyes, brought him out, um, and then, you know, went, you know, you can open your eyes, three, two, one, and we pelted him with water oh, balloons. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he thought he was getting maybe a bike or something, but he, no. He thought he had his hopes high up. Like, oh, yeah, I think he was excited, really and then he gets excited, water, yeah. Kind of funny, <laughs> yeah, filmed it and obviously put it on the internet for everybody no, it was to amazing. See. You know the humour you showed and the respect yeah. and the love. That's pretty yeah. important, isn't it? On Father's Day, and he's coming for a fun, and he had a fun. Yeah. And, and um, did he get to hit you? Anything? Did he get? To yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's what my mum said in the video. She said, you know, we need to give him something to fight back with. Uh, but yeah, I mean, my my dad's. Uh, you know, he's getting older, but it's nice that he's still got a really good sense of humour. He, he grabbed them and lobbed them at us as well, so... What kind of gift did he get? Did he get I'm sure he, he had some other gifts. Oh, yeah, he got no, something apart else. From that, yeah, so. other than the water balloons. Oh, what did we get him? I think, um, I think we got him uh, another, like, gas bottle for the barbecue. Oh. He, he, you know, oh, likes nice. to barbecue and things. That's um, nice. I'm from the country, so mm. like having you know evenings in the garden. That is lovely things. because in our in our community we don't do those uh, uh, mm. Father's Day or Mother's Day. We don't mm. do these things. Yeah. Um, so get to see you guys doing it. You know, yeah. it's, it's something for learning processes as well. Mm. Just yeah. mm. we do, problem here, we we say let's do every day. What do you mean? We don't even do every day. We can't do every day. Honestly, yeah. to be honest, yeah. we can't do every day. Yeah. So we don't even you know most of us don't even do it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And sometimes it's so late, like your father passed away. Like my my father my father passed away. It's too late to have fun with it. Yeah. Do you get me? Yeah. So sometimes it's too good to use those uh, events and those kind of yeah. stuff. It shows you uh, express yourself to your parents and like, look, yeah. we love you. You know, end of mm. the day, you are, you know, uh, one of the best things we have. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's good to see that humor as well. <laughs> anyway, yeah. would you, don't try that at home. No, absolutely. <laughs> I'll, I'll be. Um, are you thinking about making a Mother's Day like that? <laughs> no, my mom would kill me if I threw water balloons at her. No way. It's out of the question. <laughs> Ask Hamidul to do it, so he yeah. might do it. He, he's, he's, he's his role is to be Maybe so me and Hamidul go throw water balloons at each other, but um, with our parents, uh, we have to sort of be respectful. Mm. Um, um, so how long have you been working with um, Shuhem? When was it? Um, um, it was several months ago. Yeah. I can't remember the month. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think it must have been maybe roughly three, four months ago yeah. that we met. And it was just, yeah. oh, it was our first meeting. Um, mm. And I met Izzy through a, a mutual friend. Mm. She mentioned Izzy and um, I did a little bit of research about Izzy and I found out she had a lot of theatre experience, mm. which I thought was very, um, very, very exciting. And uh, I invited her for an interview and we just spoke, you know, uh, mm. generally about her experiences. And then I told her about Classified Freaks um, and the vision that I had. 
um, and then I had a sample script. It was just a two-page script, mm. uh, purely for rehearsal purposes mm. uh, for her audition. And right there and there, she, uh, we read through the lines, and I saw her saying the lines, and I was very impressed. Mm. She had this natural uh, charisma and presence, um, and you could see very evidently her theatre sort of experience mm. coming through. It was, it was fantastic, you know. And would you would you able to say uh, just one line of that? Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want me to direct it at, <laughs> at Sean? Or? Yeah, go on, whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a little bit. Well, go on then. Tell me. What exactly did you see? I saw a man on fire, and I'm not making it up. Is it, sorry, would you be able to do it in the, in the camera? camera? <laughs> 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 because then we can see Go on. Right towards the audience. Well, go on then. Tell me. What exactly did you see? See, that's convincing. <laughs> see, that's what I saw. That's so that's the, that's the meaning, I know, mm. face yeah. you are really serious yeah, about. Yeah, I think. Cause if you said, do you have any funny one? A funny one? <laughs> no, she's she's quite a serious character, yeah. and I think it is because so many people don't believe mm. her, and the person that she's questioning, you know, she's yeah. saying, you know, oh, so what did you see? And the person's saying, no, you won't believe me if I tell you. And obviously, she knows that there is something there, and yeah. she'll be the one to believe her. So yeah, she's quite serious. She. Amazing. She really believes in this story that she's yeah. trying to uncover. She'll have, she'll have. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at making mm. her character a bit more um, comedy, mm. you know, because um, humor is important. I yeah. think it's too serious. Anything from your play, something funny. So just so we just like. I didn't have a funny character in my play either. Oh. I was very strict. They're taking it too seriously, aren't they? I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was something like my cast. Very dramatic yeah. actor. No, I was I was playing a. Um, Your poor dad. You should have taken it seriously as well. <laughs> something's gonna come. <laughs> this way she can win an Oscar. Yeah, because the Oscars got serious performances. So. Yeah, but no, I, yeah, I as, as an actor, can you well. make anything up and make? make it laugh, make people laugh. Can you do that with your no, first expression? See, I'm not very good at improvisation, that's the thing. I've got, I've, I have a couple of colleagues who do a lot of improvisation work. They go, uh, you know, they do shows every week where they just make things up based on audience suggestions and things mm. and they just, they create these entire stories uh, just by going off what the audience has says, just by one a wow. uh, bit of stimulation um, and it's actually something I've never particularly been very good at. I've not really ventured into improvisation. Um, yeah, I'm kind of the get the script, really work on it, delve into, you know, subtext and, you know, action the script and things. So, yeah, sort of more head thinky yeah. <laughs> rather than... No, you switch it. Yeah. It was fantastic, honestly. He was really serious in your face, yeah. in your eyes and really up for yeah. it. Uh, your funny, funniest moment in, in play? Any, anything comes into your head? I don't know, play. Um, I think one of, one of the funniest sort of scenes I've ever done um, was... Uh, it, it was it was it was a collective scene which made it funny, but uh, we were b playing um, hippies in a commune uh, back in the 60s, and there was just this scene with the speak stones. Obviously, everybody only speaks when they're holding the stone, um, and it was just sort of unraveling all the conflicts that are going on in the commune. It was it was just a very funny scene um, with it, I think it was just the characters really and just the. the all, all the actors together is what made it funny. But now I don't tend to get the really <laughs> funny, goofy characters. Uh, Shuhab, <laughs> back to you. As a director, um, mm. you do find a lot of um, difficulties sometimes, I'm assuming. Yeah. Things mm. don't go in your own way. Mm. So how do you relax and how do you find a solution? What do you have to do for it? Um, Give us an example. <coughs> so. we, we were filming actually um, last weekend. Um, and we were filming outdoors, and outdoors uh, is a logistical nightmare uh, because there are things you can't control, the weather, the public. Um, and um, the problem that we had was we were shooting and there was a lot of background noise. Um, and I think people were approaching us asking questions like, what are you doing? And I think in those circumstances, you really have to have a cool head. You've got to be patient, you know, um, and sort of gather yourself together. And sort of we, we stopped what we're doing and we explained to them what we're doing. Um, and it, it, all they all they're asking is they're very curious, and so we once once we answer them, you know, we get to like get back on to what we're shooting. Um, background noise also is something that is a bit tricky, and um, we we probably have to move somewhere else, or if we do end up shooting, um, it's in post production. They'll have to sort of 
I'll have to filter out the sound. Uh, I'll have to edit it. Um. So what are the opportunities for young people? Yes. Um, I'm talking about mainly Muslims because they're watching it. Mm. They're not into it. That's, that's the main yeah. reason I'm saying. Everybody else included, especially. Yeah. So they are, for us, it's a new area to go into. Mm. So what are the opportunities for those Muslim boys in the coast? There's plenty of opportunities. Um, you know, there's different areas they can go into. It doesn't have to be specifically acting. It could be um, being a camera, camera person. Um, they could be a sound editor or a, a video editor. Um, you know, they could be a visual effects artist, um, a music composer. Um, and there's diff um, they, can, they can do a media course, which, uh, which is a perfect way. They can go into college and do a media course. And, that would be the best way to get exposed to the media industry. And from there on, they can sort of uh, get into workshops. And there's different organizations out there um, that do offer workshops uh, and opportunities for uh, young children who want to get active in filmmaking. I think now it's really booming. Um, you s and if, if kids want to know how to get, how to come across it, you know, you can um, go to your local council, you can look on the internet, um, see what's about in your local area. Um, so, yeah, you really have to sort of actively look. Um, or if you know someone, um, that's obviously... So when you say booming, what does it mean? Booming means uh, people are going into a bigger... Yeah, uh, booming as in it's a growing industry. Um, and I think, um, especially within our community, I think now people are taking it a bit more seriously okay. now and they're really engaging in it. And they're seeing that you can make a career out of it. And, you know, it's creatively uh, really engaging and, and um, motivating. Um, and myself, um, Izzy, and a few other um, uh, filmmakers who come from the Muslim community, um, quite prominent, I think they're really inspiring kids. And I think kids, you know, now they're going out there with their camcorder or their phone mm. and they're making little projects. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's definitely opportunities out there. Uh, you just, just go and look for it. You see, in your, um, your play, do you, f you get a lot of young Muslim boys or girls or even in their audience, do you, do you, have you met any of them? Um, yes, I mean, the, the company that I'm working with at the moment, Talent Match, uh, they're very specific in the fact that they want to be very inclusive because, uh, to be honest, there are, you know, not as many roles uh, for uh, different ethnicities out mm. there. But mm. I, and I think it's so important uh, to be inclusive. So Talent Match, if, if anyone's interested in acting, definitely look them up. Yeah. Uh, they're very inclusive. It's, it's roles for everybody. Um, but yeah, I'd say there's, there's youth theatres sort of all over London. I think youth theatre is a great mm. way mm. to get involved. You meet like-minded yeah. people, you yeah. can do a show, you can be in a theatre and, and get professional experience really. Um, but I mean, even if you're nervous about joining something like that, um, yeah, just get some buddies and just go out and make a film yourself, yeah. whack it on YouTube. And yeah, just see what happens. And you'll get better and better the more you do, and then mm. you can kind of work up the confidence to join uh, these youth theatres. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, they are out there, and uh, there's there's so many more roles coming up. So yeah, yeah I think just like Shuhan said, it's not about only acting, isn't it? Mm. No. It's, it's, it's yeah. you Different can get into so much yeah. stuff. You could yeah. do. It's almost it's like a um, yeah, yeah. lot of things you can do. You know, get involved with, and uh, there's a lot of money there as well. Mm. Yeah. If you can yeah. go up, yeah. it's it's a lot of money. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. I mean. I can understand being a Muslim and coming from a Bangladeshi uh, background, um, there's certain things you can't compromise on. Mm. Um, you know, um, religiously there's certain things that we can't do or say. So I think you have to sort of really assess it, um, the opportunities that are given to you, and then look at it and say, okay, what's my intention? And you know, what's the overall sort of end goal? Um, and as long as you feel as though that you're not compromising your religion, mm -hmm. And um, you know, obviously, it doesn't really uh, push your parents away from you, you know, in a negative way. You know, then yeah, you you have to pursue it. But you know, you really have to put it into context, mm -hmm. and you know, consider it. You know, give it considerable thought. You, know, you can't just get into something. You know, and also, so even if you want to make a drama in your own mm. perspective, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. If you don't know, how would you make it? Yeah. That's yeah. You have to learn. You have yeah. to do it. Yeah. And then you do your own one. If people like it, it's good. If yeah. people don't like it. Person, yeah, me personally, there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet, especially YouTube, yeah, tutorials on how to make films, edit, act in it. There's a lot of stuff out there. You can even go to your library, read books, um, get involved uh, with, uh, with, uh, with your local um, council or, or, or library, you know, where they do activities, you know. Mm. Um, so I think you just have to just 
you know, ask your school, your parents, any family members or friends, and they will lead you in the right direction on how to get involved. Um, or they can just, you know, do something on their own with their phone or the camera and put it on social media. Mm. And then someone say, hey, you know, um, you can, why didn't you put it on YouTube? And they'll point them in the right direction. Mm. It's the smallest of thing and they'll, you know, you'll be off. Yeah. You know. But tell me about your um, Classic Freaks future plan. What do you, how big do you want to be? Oh, right. And um, <laughs> what's your plan to be the next five years? What's yeah. your... Um, well, I don't know if they can see it. <laughs> uh, you can see I'm, I'm wearing the t-shirt, Classified Freaks. Um, the goal, inshallah, is to obviously finish the sixth episode. So Classified Freaks, just to um, uh, sort of explain what it is briefly, it's a six episode uh, superhero web series on YouTube um, and roughly each epi episode is about 25 minutes. And that's series one, um, six episodes for series one. And my hope is that if we get a good reception, good feedback from the audience, that I'd like to do a series two and we may crowdfund that. So that way, you know, um, actors can get paid um, and, uh, and so we can get more exposure. So that's my aim. Uh, but really, we're working on the, the first season uh, and I'm really working hard at it because um, there's a lot of visual effects work that I need to do. Um, and, a lot of, and we still got a lot of filming. We're, we're partially shooting episode two. So as you can imagine, you know, there's a lot more stuff that we need to film. Uh, you know, Izzy's got a lot of scenes that we need to really get cracking on um, filming. Um, so it's not easy. You have, you know, people have to be available on the same day. Mm -hmm. The weather has to be right for shooting outdoors, scheduling. So it, there's a lot of things that have to come together. Is it mostly outside or you could do um, it Partially it's outside, but um, I'm really looking to shoot a lot of stuff indoors also. Um, so I think episode one, we did shoot quite a bit of stuff indoors, which is always good. Because I think if you shoot outdoors, it's not realistic enough if it's all outdoors. People are going to be thinking, you know, how come there's no indoor scenes? Mm -hmm. So we're trying to keep that balance. So if I ask you regarding the story, you know, yes. just I know you don't have to say everything, but yeah. just to um, for our viewers, yes, just to get a glimpse of it, like uh, <laughs> is that, is it, I'm sure it's not dancing and singing, no, okay? nothing like Hollywood. <laughs> <Okay. Nah. laughs> so, um, so you want to explain? Cool. Yeah, just a bit of yeah, a story, so how it's going to be. So if it, mostly it's for young people, isn't it? Yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. So yeah. So they the, may be. Yeah, the target audience is uh, a young. Uh, it's, a, it's for younger viewers, but to be honest, it's a universal. Uh, uh, sort of series. Anybody can watch it. Doesn't matter what age you are. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's really it's 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 about a group of individuals who come to realize that they've got superpowers and that they're being hunted by this organization that wants to control them. They don't want society to know about these individuals. And obviously, Letitia plays a journalist who uh, comes from the media side. She also represents the audience. Um, and she's got lots of questions, um, and she thinks that they should really come out and tell the world. You know that you know they've got these powers that could potentially save lives and make a difference. Um, and actually, there is a subtext to it. Uh, Izzy is absolutely correct. Um, classified Freaks really touches upon what makes us different. What makes us different, but we've got common goals which unites us. So you know we may be all different in certain ways, but you know we're human beings. You know we feel um, you know the same thing: anger, hate, love. You know, um, and um, it's about really what makes us human. And you know that we should really be sticking together and uniting as a species, you know, for the greater good. Mm -hmm. And that's what classified freaks really explores. Okay, you got one minute to say something to our viewers. <laughs> one minute. This is your last right. word. Right. Um, I would like to say to the viewers, inshallah, uh, the first episode hopefully will come out at the end of September or the beginning of October. So please uh, support us. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash classified freaks show. Um, and you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, um, and yeah, just show us your support because we're gonna, you're going to make this happen. The more you watch it, the more you share it, spread it, you guys are going to make it happen and get us noticed. And in return, we, we're going to provide you with entertainment episodes and inshallah inspire a generation of kids to get active in filmmaking. Fantastic. Izzy, you've got a minute to just to um, convince our viewers. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a really amazing plot. It's really representative of the people who are out there right now. Um, it would be really great to be supported. Uh, it could really go far. It would be great if we could get to do a second season as well. We'd love to take this story further. There's so many different directions that it could go in. Uh, so yeah, I'm sh really sure you'll enjoy it. It's really interesting. So yeah, give it a watch. You know, I'm just going to be really humble to you guys, honestly. I'm so honoured to have you guys, honestly. Well, we're and happy to be here. Yeah. Um, dear viewers, um, we've been here nearly one and a half hours, actually. I enjoyed it so much, especially with your project. It's so fantastic. You know, it's, it's uh, eye-opening to a lot of us. 
if any of the directors or the actors are you know interested please do get in touch with uh, Suhail Bai and um, get linked up um, there are lots of you guys up there even uh, easy you know she's willing to do uh, yeah, much more bigger roles as well she deserved that um shomoy to bhai boner amra ashole asker je program ni aschilam jeita amra asha korchi amader bhabishyater generation era apnar kichu shikhbe ebong tara ilata jabe oneke shomoy ache kichu korar moto nai i think they should get involved especially holar shomoy je gulo ache apnader bachcha dekhe apnar get them to do something creative get them to do something you know they enjoy আমাদের সাপোর্টার দেওয়া দরকার আমরা তাদেরকে আপনার জ্ঞান দিতে হবে আইডিয়া দিতে হবে সম্মান দিতে হবে যদি আমরা এগুলো না দিই তো তারা কিন্তু আপনার দে উল টেক ইন এ রং পাথ অ্যান্ড অ্যান্ড সামটাইম ইস টু লাইট সামটাইম ইস টু লাইট টু ব্রিং দেম ব্যাক সো আজকে প্রোগ্রাম থেকে আশা করি আপনারা অবশ্যই কিছু পজিটিভ নেবেন যদি আমরা কিছু ভুল খেয়ে থাকি স্পেশালি মা বোনরা যারা ফোন করছেন দয়া করে আমাদেরকে মাফ করবেন অ্যান্ড হোপ টু সি ইউ নেক্সট উইক ইনশা আল্লাহ অ্যান্ড মেক লস অফ দোয়া ফর আস অ্যান্ড স্টাই হ্যাপি السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ